hello everyone welcome to solve this nice exponential equation problem and here we have 2 to the power of minus m equals uh, square root of m and we solve this problem for the values of m so here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, we know about the nice exponential law you know that if we have a to the power of minus m we write it as 1 over a to the power of plus m it means that if you move this term to the downside or in denominator then it will then the exponent of this term become a positive so we write it as 1 over 2 to the power of m is equals to square root of m and after this step uh, we move this 2 to the power of m in the uh, right hand side so that uh, we multiply both of the sides by 2 to the power of m so when we multiply both of the sides by 2 to the power of m it will be written as 2 to the power of m multiply 1 over 2 to the power of m into square root of m into 2 to the power of m so after this step you see here this term is cancelled out by this term and we get in the left hand side is only 1 and in the right hand side we have a square root of m into 2 to the power of m. So after this step uh, here uh, we need to remove this uh, radical sign so in order to remove this radical sign we need to take the squaring on both of the sides. So when we take squaring in the left hand side it will be written as 1 square equals to square root of m into 2 to the power of m and its whole squared. Okay so uh, after that uh, you see here uh, here we use the nice uh, uh, exponential law you know that if we have a multiplied by b and its whole power m then we apply this exponent separately on both of these terms and it will be written as a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m okay so after this step you see here in the left hand side we have a one square is equals to one and here we apply this two on both of these terms and it will be written as uh, square root of m and its whole square into 2 to the power of m and its whole square okay so uh, now you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this uh, square root and we get m here uh, we use another exponential law and according to this law if we have exponent to the exponents these two exponents are multiplied by each other then we get uh, 2 to the power of 2m and in the left hand side we get 1 only okay so uh, further in the next step here first we rewrite this equation as in this form uh, we write it as m into 2 to the power of 2m is equals to 1 here we write the, uh, this term on first and this on second okay so now uh, after this step here uh, we just solve this problem with the help of Lambert W function and now here I can little bit explain about the Lambert W function so the standard form of Lambert W function is this one if you have W of a into e to the power of a then the output of this type of function is equals to a it means that the value on this and this are same these two values are always same then uh, we apply this w function then the output of this function is a okay so now here first we make uh, these terms uh, in this form uh, and after that we apply this w function and we get its uh, uh, and we easily get the value of m okay so now here uh, first we make this uh, exponential function with base e okay here we need this we need exponential function with base e so uh, here you see that uh, we have this base is 2 so we uh, if you have 2 and when we take a log and anti log at the same time on this 2 then it will be written as e to the power of log 2 okay because this e and log are cancelled by each other and we again get here 2 so now we replace uh, this 2 is equals to e to the power of log 2 so that our above equation is written as in this form 
n into e to the power of log 2 and its whole exponent is 2 and its whole exponent is 2m and this is equals to 1. So after that here we apply uh, the nice property of uh, exponents and these exponents are multiplied by each other and we get e to the power of 2m into log 2 is equals to 1. So further in the next step uh, here uh, in order to make this whole term here uh, we need to multiply two times of log 2 on both of the sides uh, in order to make the standard form of Lambert W function okay so now we multiplying both of the sides by two times of uh, log 2 and in the left hand side we have m into uh, e to the power of 2 m log 2 is equals to 2 times of log 2 okay so further uh, in the next step uh, here we rearrange the terms in the left hand side so uh, we write this 2 and log 2 here and we write it as 2m uh, log of 2 into here you have e to the power of 2m log of 2 is equals to this is 2 into log 2 here uh, we uh, now we convert our right hand side also uh, in the form of Lambert W function so that here again we uh, write this 2 in the form of exponent uh, so we write it as e to the power of uh, log 2 because we write this in this form because these two are cancelled by each other and we again get 2 and this term is written here log of 2 okay so now here we ready to apply the W function on both of the sides uh, so that uh, now we just apply this lambda w function on both of the sides and it will be written as 2m log of 2 into e to the power of 2m log of 2 is equals to w of e to the power of log 2 into log of 2 okay so here we apply the w function on both of the sides so uh, the output in the left hand side is equals to 2m log of 2 and similarly the output in the right hand side is only log of 2 okay so uh, after that uh, you see here uh, log 2 is present on both of the sides so that now we divide both of the sides by log of 2 in order to eliminate this log 2 on both of the sides okay so that we divide both of the sides by log 2 and now you see here uh, this log 2 is cancelled out by this this is cancelled out by this one and we get here 2m is equals to 1 so finally we have the value of m is equals to 1 over 2 so uh, this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.